Welcome to the Prime PCR Assays and Panels web tutorial. From the Prime PCR homepage, click the Create a Custom Plate button in the center of the screen to launch the Custom Plate Configurator. The Custom Plate Wizard will ask you a series of questions to help you begin. First, select either a 96 or 384 well plate, followed by your instrument. Next, select the species and type of assays you would like on your plate. At this stage, you can choose to use a suggested plate template or a blank template. Suggested plate templates are illustrated guides that aid in laying out your plate based on the number of unique assays, replicate assays, and control assays you would like on a plate. A blank template can be selected instead. When you click on the Use Blank Template button, you'll be taken to the Search and Select Assays page. Here, you will search for your assays of interest by entering your keyword in the search bar. Predictive search is enabled. When your search results are returned, click on the Add to Assay List button for the assays you would like to be added to the plate. The selected assays will be added to the assay list on the left of the page. An assay count is included to help you keep track of how many assays you have selected. If you wish to select a different template, you can click Start Over and you will be returned to the beginning of the plate wizard. To remove an assay from the list, click the red X on the assay list. You can also add a custom assay by clicking the Add Custom Assay button on the bottom left of the page. An overlay will open for you to enter your forward and reverse sequences. You will also be asked to name your assay. Note that your custom assay name will not be used during plate configuration. This is to prevent overlap with existing gene symbols. The custom assays will then be listed with the gene symbol of C-001, proceeding numerically with each new custom assay. When you are finished selecting assays, Click the Continued to Configure Plate button on the bottom left to return to the Plate Configurator page. On the Plate Configurator page, you will see a blank plate template displayed. Click or click and drag to select one or more wells. You can also double click on a letter or number to select the entire row or column. Selected wells will be highlighted in red. Click on an assay in the assay list at the right to assign a given assay to the selected wells. Continue this process to complete your plate. Suggested reference genes and experimental controls are listed on the right-hand side of the page. When using the RNA quality control assay, you are required to use RQ1 and RQ2 as a pair. When you have finished completing your plate, click the Save and Review button at the top right. If you're not logged in, you will be prompted to log into your account. After logging in, you will be prompted to name and save your plate. Click Save to continue. On the Plate Review page, you can add your plate to the cart or add to quote. 
Validation information for every assay present on the plate can be downloaded by clicking the Download Validation Data button. A plate run file in CSV format can be downloaded by clicking the Download Run File button at the top left of the screen. You can either save or open this file. This file contains information for loading and running a plate using CFX Manager 3.0 software. It also contains validation information. When imported into CFX Manager, this file will automatically populate the plate layout. Note that the plate is automatically saved in your My Prime PCR hot list. When clicking on this link, you will be taken to the My Prime PCR hot list in your cart. This hot list contains a list of all the Prime PCR products you have ordered or saved. This concludes the tutorial on building a custom plate using a blank template.